prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Good morning and welcome to our live streaming of this Easter celebration. Uh, welcome here to the celebration of this Easter as we have been preparing for the past 40 days uh, throughout our land. We all know we feel like the land season continues because of our uh, social distancing and the sacrifices that we are still making. Uh, but today is the Easter Sunday and uh, it's about Jesus and his resurrection from the dead. So I welcome you all to join us as we continue the celebration of this Easter Sunday Mass. Let us now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us and make us worthy of our salvation. Let us now express our sorrow for our sins by reciting, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now join our musician and the candor in singing the Glory to God song, which we did not sing for the past 40 days during Lent. So, let us join those angels in heaven in a glorifying God. Yeah. 
we will keep the strongity of the Lord's resurrection. May, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the Scriptures. In reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will be singing the Easter sequence and I invite you to join our musician, cantor and myself uh, in singing this um, Victimae Pascali Laudes, Christians to the Pascal Victim.
On the first day of the week, Mary of Magda came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To all of you who are viewing this live streaming of the Mass and to your loved ones in the family. I wish a blessed Easter celebration in whatever way we can fashion it. Sadly, this year we celebrate Easter, the Lord's resurrection, in a very subdued way because of the, the coronavirus scourge. But we surely hope that uh, we will never have. You know, another uh, instance like this in our lifetime. We are also hoping and praying for a quick deliverance from um, this uh, scourge so that um, perhaps um, you know, we can uh, have a, a new Easter at um, Pentecost. You know, we have uh, four candidates uh, who we have been received into the Catholic Church after going through a year of preparation and they could not because of our uh, restrictions in gathering uh, but hopefully they will be able to join us uh, at Pentecost uh, and be received into the church. Although our Easter celebration this year is subdued, the Easter message and its implication for our lives can never be subdued. Although we cannot gather physically in the church with one another, the reason for Easter Sunday, the reason to sing Hallelujah after 40 days of Lent, it can never be subdued. After 40 days of Lent, it can never be subdued. Easter is the greatest feast for us in the Catholic Church. It is the most important feast. The centrality of this feast can be summed up in three ways. First of all, Easter is the foundation of our faith. Easter is the foundation of our church. The church would not have come into existence if Jesus had not risen from the dead. And the first message that the disciples, the first disciples of Jesus went around and preached was that Jesus is our Lord because he is risen from the dead. And that was the message they preached, the first disciples of Jesus. So it is proper for us to say that our faith is Easter faith, that we are Easter people. 
We are people of hope, people of love, people of this faith in the resurrection of Jesus. And there is something to cherish for us today and to celebrate. Secondly, Easter is a pledge of our own resurrection. It is a guarantee that our life does not end here on earth. And so, it is very important for us today on this feast day, on this Easter Sunday, to reflect what does this faith actually mean to me in my daily life? How do I look at my life? How do I look at my everyday activities in life? We as people of faith, we do everything from this perspective that we are not here forever. Our true home is in heaven. And that's what guides our everyday life. And thirdly, Easter also revives our hope in this world, which is full of pain, suffering, sorrow, tears. Especially in our current situation, we all have experienced this despair, this helplessness. And Easter is the feast of hope for us that our Good Friday will turn into Easter Sunday. It is a hope for us that all our suffering, all our hardship to Easter Sunday job. And it is with that hope we face any kind of cross in our life, any kind of challenge, tribulation in our life. Sometimes we are like those apostles who are still drawn in Good Friday, the rough Good Friday that they experienced, the death of Jesus Christ, their master's death. They did not realize that God would bring an Easter job, Easter Sunday. Sometimes we can be, we can, you know, fall into that despair in our mind, especially when we you know, face some challenges in life, and we, you know, we are called to carry some crosses in our lives. Easily we can fall into that despair. But we, as people of Easter faith, always look up to our hope. And our hope is founded in the empty tomb. That Jesus is no more in the tomb, Jesus is risen. And He gives that hope whenever we face any challenge. So today, as we celebrate this feast of Easter, let us use our time wisely to reflect and also to foster that faith that we have inherited from our parents and grandparents and all those we have gone before us. Let us try to cherish that faith. Let us find ways to strengthen that faith in our families and in our world. On Easter Sunday, the church invites us to renew our baptismal promises. So let us uh, now stand and uh, renew the promises that we once made at our baptism. Dear brothers and sisters, through the past of mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our legend of observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism. 
by which we want to renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of all sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Let us now bring our prayers and petitions and lay them before the Lord. Dear sisters and brothers, on this holiest of days, when we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from death to new life, let us ask that God bring new life to us, those we love and to the whole world. For the Church, living body of Christ, restricted from gathering, but united in spirit, for Pope Francis, Archbishop Nelman, and all the clergy and the religious. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with leading our countries, that they may work to bring peace to nations ravaged by war and prosperity to areas devastated by poverty and health to their countries ravaged by the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elect waiting to receive the sacraments of initiation, for parents des desiring the baptism of their children, and for couples needing to delay their weddings, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for their faith in Jesus, for those denied religious freedom, and those who are struggling to believe and trust, we pray to Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering during this coronavirus pandemic, for healing for the sick, strength for all bringing medical and pastoral care to the sick, and comfort for the distressed families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died alone at home, in health care facilities and hospitals, for the souls of Angela Tangman, laid to rest in Vanderbilt last Thursday, and Sister Mary John, who passed away on Good Friday. For the deceased members of our family, and for all the Easter memorials we bring to this mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in our parish family and our churches throughout the country and world, that we may always rejoice in the Lord's resurrection and realize the salvation he won for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you have redeemed us through the sacrifice of your Son. Your generosity with life and love is now to one. Hear the prayers we offer and grant them in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the mind we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Peace to grant her peace 
to guard, unite, and govern us throughout the whole world. Together we have come and thanks is our hope and George as our bishop, and all those who, holding the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who gather here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For that we offer in this sacrifice of faith, or they offer it for themselves and all who are here to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, the mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed with Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lauren, Pudagonus, John and Paul, Thomas and David, and all your saints, be defended by your protecting them. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved. The body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O Lord, is all this is my. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To 
was also your servant who those sinners hope in your abundant mercy graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist Stephen Matthias Barnabas Ignatius Alexander Rosinius Peter Felicity Perpetua Agatha Lucy Agnes Cecilia Anastasia and all your saints admit us we beseech you into their company not weighing our merits but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord to whom you continue to make all the good things for all you sanctify them bless them with life and bestow them upon us Your Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
because of our social distancing, we are not able to come together for mass and receive Holy Communion. Um, but when we have a deep desire to receive the Holy Communion, and we cannot, uh, we do receive the graces and fruits uh, of this Holy Communion when we make an act of spiritual communion. So I have a prayer there on the screen. Please join me in a prayer in this uh, act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be support, separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity once again. I hope that soon we will be able to come together and at least um, gather to celebrate the Pentecost. Uh, there is a special blessing on this uh, Easter Sunday. So let us uh, ask the Lord to give us the graces to that blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you, who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast, come with Christ's help and exerting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated with eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go for the last season. Thank you.